the family of Imran Khan, the former Prime Minister of Pakistan who has now been illegally incarcerated for 284 days, has expressed a serious concern for his safety. In a late-night distressed statement on X, Alima Khan, Imran Khan's sister, said that the jail authorities have locked down the prison, cancelled hearing of the jail trial, and suddenly changed Imran Khan's prison guards. She said, and quote, quite simply, we are very concerned about his safety and well-being and can never rule out as a threat to his life, unquote. Alima Khan also pointed out how jail authorities controlled by the military-backed illegitimate Punjab Chief Minister Maryam Nawaz Sharif has refused court-ordered access to Imran Khan's physicians for blood tests. The Islamabad High Court has granted bail to Imran Khan in the Al Qadir University Trust case. Despite the bail order, Imran Khan will not be released from jail as he remains incarcerated in other politically motivated cases. The Al Qadir jail trial, taking place inside Adiala jail, was cancelled today, denying access to Imran Khan's family, legal team, and the family physicians scheduled to conduct a medical checkup. Pakistan Tehreek Insaf, the party of former Prime Minister Imran Khan, has condemned threats and intimidation of Pakistan's judiciary while calling on the controversial. Chief Justice of Pakistan to take a stand. In a press conference, Mr. Rauf Hassan, Secretary of Information for the party, said, and quote, There are serious revelations by the judges, including leaks of private information and intimidation the Chief Justice should investigate, unquote. Just yesterday, Justice Babur Sattar of the Islamabad High Court revealed how a top military establishment official told him to back off in a case pertaining to leaked private conversations of Imran Khan's wife. A missile fired by a drone killed four of a family, including three children, in northwestern Pakistan. Local police chief Hadaitullah said that the strike happened in South Waziristan in the Khyber Pakhtunkhwa province. He said it was not immediately clear who fired the missile and officers were investigating. Those killed in the missile strike were civilians with no known links to the insurgents. Villagers put their bodies on a road near a military camp and protested the killings and demanded information about who was responsible. Israeli forces have intensified attacks across Gaza, bombarding a refugee camp in the center of the Strip as tanks pushed a deeper into eastern parts of the Rafah city in the south. In Gaza, southern city of Rafah, where a widely criticized Israeli ground operation is underway, an estimated 450,000 Palestinians have been driven out of the city over the past week, according to the UN Agency for Palestinian Refugees. More than 1.5 million displaced Palestinians had sought shelter in the southernmost city of Rafah after they were forced to flee their homes in other parts of Gaza that had come under intense Israeli bombardment since October. More than 35,000 Palestinians have been killed by Israel.